G'day guys and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts for our 100 subscriber special. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you already know what's going to happen. We are having a custom battle with every single aspect controlled by the wheel. As you can see here, I did a bit of a test run, making sure it would all work. I'm very excited, very nervous. Hopefully this will be good. Probably won't be. <laughs> and without further ado, let's let Jesus take the chaos wheel. All right, first things first. What country will we be playing as? Spain. Oh. Well, Spain was the first country uh, I ever played in this game on YouTube, so I feel like that's correct. That's right. We've come full circle. Alright, let's spit it again. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit rough, guys. I'm still sick. Uh, I tried to wait for this as long as I could. But it's just... I'm not getting better well enough. We'll be at 200 subscribers. Uh, before I got this video out, otherwise. Germany. Alright. <laughs> that is the tall order. <laughs> oh, God. Now... The error. This is where Germany's gonna trounce us. If we get something like 1940. I don't know what hulls the Spanish have, but uh, presumably nothing too great. All right, 1930. Okay, let's hope we get Weimar 1930s Germany and not a uh, Nazi 1930s Germany. All right, and now the part you've all been waiting for. What hull and how many? I'm actually a little bit nervous. Okay, light cruiser. Hopefully with many torpedoes, given it's 1930. Remove that. How many? How many? And it's two. All right, two's not a bad strike package. We can work with two. We can work with two. Put them in a cell, keep them in close until they get close, and then sort of put them in to uh, interfere with enemy torpedo boats and uh, destroyers. Destroyers in this era. Speaking of destroyers, how many are we going to have today? You can see I limited it to five. I don't want a huge engagement. Just something fun, something punchy, get over and done with quickly. And three. All right, another decent sized package. Okay. Now time for the big boys. Must be like five battleships, five battle cruisers. Just something ridiculous. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the Spanish 1930s designs even look like. All right, battle cruisers. How many? Probably just one, right? Nope, that's gonna be five. Of course, it's five battle cruisers. This is going to be a very quick battle. All right, let's have battleships. How many will we be having? Only one, no? Two, all right. And lucky last, but not least, the heavy cruiser. This is where we have like one. You're like, what are you even doing here, bro? No, oh, <laughs> so my aim is to have a, this is gonna be a gun battle. This is just going to be a gun battle. Alright, give me a second guys, I'm going to chuck all of that into our custom battle and launch it for you guys. Alright guys, and that is us. I'm not going to muck around with the range slider, share design selective, should be fine. Weather, I want a clear day. Daytime, yeah we'll do it first thing in the morning, let's go. Like all nations hull, I don't really know what that means, but and we're not going to design these ships, we're just going to quick start. Let's go. Alright, and we are off to the races. Let's see what they have in store for us. Oh, we're firing already. Let's put a pin in that at least. So we can have a look at what ships we have been given. Oh god, what are these? Okay. Uh... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> This is a ship. 
This is a ship of all time. Hey, what do we got? 14.1 inch guns. Okay, that's good. 8.2 inches. Lots of 8.2 inches. Lots of 4.4, 3.4, 1.6, 4, and torpedoes. Okay. And 60,000 tons. Well, they have certainly just... Oh, what the f... <laughs> what is that? Who thought that was a good idea? Oh my god. Alright. Let's have a look at the battle cruisers. Okay, at least the turrets... At least... They understood the concept of a super firing turret. Doesn't mean you block the line inside of the gun behind it. Although... Oh my god. How? <laughs> I am... Honestly amazed by the amount of guns they managed to put on these things. No destroyers getting close to these guys. Alright, our heavy cruiser. The jank. This is this if you look at this, that's a destroyer. You're like, oh yeah, two five inch guns. Yeah, that's a 1930s, 1940s destroyer. And then you see the 10.2 inch guns a mid ship and aft, and you're like Huh. Huh. <laughs> Alright, what do our light cruisers look like? Uh, someone took a modern main battle tank turret and was like, I want that on my light cruiser. But we do have torpedoes. Do you have many torpedoes? Uh, that's double deck, two double deck. Alright, they'll, they'll do alright. How fast? Oh, 33 knots. I'll take that. And our destroyers. Okay. 4.1 inch guns. See, this is... Oh my god, I love these things. 36 inch... 36 knots. 12 torpedoes. Okay, yeah. I love these things. Uh, we're apparently sailing away from the enemy. Which is a uh, bold choice. What's our cruising speed? 18 knots. Alright, we're going to start making 18 knots. These guys are going to follow, follow, and I want these guys, yes, loose, uh, sort of out and about. Alright, game load in, oh she's slow, hopefully that sorts itself out as everything loads in. <laughs> if we don't take hits here, I'll be amazed. Never mind that uh, clutch change of direction in the last minute. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to take hits. Big hits too. That's some decent damage. Alright. Battle line. Go forth and conquer. Oh, a flash fire? One of our battle cruisers already? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well. Well, we sunk one of theirs, but uh, I feel like it wasn't quite as valuable as the one of ours they sunk. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Apparently, our um, battle cruisers haven't improved their design since Jutland. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this has just started off the perfect way already. Gonna keep these guys. Actually, gonna get them to pop smoke. Oh no, gearing. From the gearing class of American World War Two. Oh Jesus. Okay, that smoke did nothing. Three fifths of F all. If you've ever heard that saying before. All right, we're gonna start getting our own back. We've got these 14-inch guns. Start using them. See, they got the nav. Is it nav radar on the front? Well, it's not spinning, but it certainly looks like radar. They like range finders. I don't actually know. Uh, my weirdly enough, my knowledge of World War Two probably probably a complete inverse of every other ship nerd on the planet. My knowledge of World War Two ships is a lot less than my knowledge of World War One or uh, even pre pre World War One, like uh, pre dreadnought ships. Yes, well you studied the Bismarck, I studied 
<laughs> the uh, Austro-Hungarian pre dots. I remember I had a, a book growing up. I don't know if any of you guys had this. Uh, 101 Warships, it was called. And it had one entrance, one entrance on a pre dot battleship. And I used to stare at the thing for hours, just thinking how goofy it was. And for some reason, this wild sort of pre dreadnought interested me far more than uh, all of the World War II warships. And I think just because it was, uh, it was unknown. There was so little info on it in any of the books I could find. Right, where's our torpedo range? Oh, that's our torpedo range. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, if you ever want to let any of those out, guys, just feel free to do it. Because that's a battleship. And I'll be cutting out those coughs. Right, I'm going to get these guys to snake in a bit closer. Oh, they vote you range didn't they? What are you gonna range in one of theirs as well? Alright you guys. If you're gonna let off torps, now is the time. Oh, that's not fair. Look how much better their ships are than ours. <laughs> These look like working battle. These look like working ships. Look at them. They got their turrets on the right way around and everything. They're like, yep, yep. The B is the super firing turret. Sits over the A. Our guys are like, what if? And hear me out, guys. This is gonna be crazy. What if the super firing turret was under the main turret, so it couldn't fire basic forward? We'll be broadsiding anyway, because apparently our naval tactics haven't evolved since Spanish galleons. And someone thought this was a genius idea and promoted that man on the spot. And let him build all of their ships. For all time. Jeez, look at that knowledge of our torpedo range. I'm just really trying to escape it. Oh, it's 4.1 inch. Our torpedo range is a lot further. Oh no. Uh, these guys have different tops. Well, these guys are getting absolutely picked apart so uh, just start following the CAs because you're not doing anything out there, you're just getting killed alright so we have a battle line, we're closing slowly so hopefully our massive amount of is that a torpedo? oh my god they got a torpedo spread off against us you know who didn't get a torpedo spread off? us our guys apparently just don't believe in torpedoes. Jeez, look at that. Well, it's what these guys are for. They had to bait out torpedoes, and they did it. So, good job that man there, I guess. Did we sink a battle cruiser in the first engagement? We did, holy bloody hell, look at that. I guess we weren't the only ones that, uh, yeah, it is Weimar Republic, look at that. Jesus. Okay. Looks like no one learned from the Battle of Jutland. Everyone is shit. No one learned. Speaking of, yeah, it's the same thing, eh? Apparently they armoured that front turret with paper. And, um, packed it full of TNT. I understand. The masculine urge to unarmor your main front turret. Okay, maybe these guys are onto something, because the conventional warships are just exploding willy-nilly. And yet these things are just tanking shots. Oh, maybe this turret configuration allows you to actually armor the front turret. Don't know. Oh, look how much smaller. Oh, not that much smaller. Alright, thumbnail time. Should just be a picture of this ship and be like, what is this? 
Was ist das? Alright, we've gotten a few kills. We are losing the damage calculations, but that's fine. We have more capital ships than them, so I'm happy to take that. Although, the long range of these torpedoes is something I'm not used to. And it's a little bit worrying. I'm not going to lie. Can I get some hits on the light ships? I'll take that. Ah, oh, the Admiral Guff's Bay. I actually do like the German hulls. Not saying I like the Nazis. But their hulls have an aesthetic that's nice to look at every now and again. It's an aesthetic I can appreciate. Yeah, we'll say that. Well, he's trying to run away, but... See, his turret didn't blow up. So it might be a different design, potentially. Oh my god, what is... What is that? Oh, I thought we had the ugly ships. No, what is that? It's in fire, so I can't see, but... Oh my god. Is that the tallest barbette you could get? Oh, that's horrendous. I want to kill them. I want them to die just for my eyeballs. They can stop hurting. Oh my god, that's horrendous. Uh, um, I'm going to stick back over here. Because what is that? <laughs> what is that? That was sinking things. That's good. Can't hit these things though. Although, apparently they're attempting to merge. Oh my god. Is that uh They're like devastated from the Transformers, trying to merge together to create one ultimate battle cruiser. <laughs> Oh, we're just gonna keep cruising. Same heading, same speed, same super contribution. Uh, anyone here seen that ad? Oh, come on. You can't miss. They've literally doubled their target. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Well. We try to be clever and bait them out and do something cool, but apparently the optimal strategy is just to uh, line up. You know, we, I mocked their Spanish galleon, <laughs> their uh, the Spanish Armada tactics, but uh, apparently they still work. If you just line up and put as many guns on the enemy as you have, and then just slow down to give your gunners enough time to hit something, you uh, you win, or. Have some good shooting opportunities. Oh my god. Well, he's gonna have a bad day. What is hitting these things? 14 inch guns? Alright. Someone's just really decided they don't like this light cruiser. These battle cruisers are 14.3 inch guns. That's wild. Mark 3 14 inch guns. Yeah, that's gonna ruin your day. I actually don't hate these uh, battle cruisers. Aside from the fact that one just spontaneously combusted before, they seem like they're alright. And these battleships take forever to sink. Look at that. Oh, that's not a battleship. That's a battleship. Now we're starting to turn around these damage numbers. You could still be fighting. Look at these how are the Germans doing? Oh, well that hurt. That was two and a half de thousand damage. They've dealt eleven though. That's terrifying. Oh, don't, don't bunch up. <laughs> They're literally like, how do we present the largest target we possibly can? Ah, uh, this was their solution.
<laughs> it's like, what am I even looking at right now? I don't know, but it could be a hilarious thumbnail. Well, I don't... <laughs> we had Vienna drifting in the last uh, Chaos Wheel <laughs> episode, now we have Berlin drifting. This episode will bring you Berlin drifting. <laughs> what the fuck is this turret? Okay, <laughs> layout. And, I don't know, a thousand and one other little oddities. This destroyer is the most normal ship in this fleet. <laughs> Everything else is just wild. Have we lost all of our light cruisers? Yeah, we did. They're all dead. Huh. Oh, I oh know, there's one. Hey, do you wanna... I don't know. Oh. And the game just crashed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That is the most Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts way to end this, so I'll be ending it there. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We have 500 subscribers before we know it. Thank you.